Hello everybody, so today I'm going to talk about IES lamp. So the IES lamp is this light and you can see on the right. It is kind of a very fancy light, it's very trendy right now in architecture. A resolution is quite different from the very plain boring spotlight. I guess you can find something that actually a spotlight could look like that, but actually we have a very so much easier way to do it. So fancy first you are going to Download this plugin at this address. I will put the link in the description and you just, you know, save link somewhere on your computer, doesn't matter where. And after that, you just go back to Blender, File, User Preferences, Install from File. You select the file and you just download and install from file again. So I won't do it because I already uh, do it. So I will just check if I have the plugin and if the checkbox is checked, that's very important. And of course, save user setting. And now it's done, you can use IES lamp. So of course, what is a bit confusing with IES lamp is not new lamp that you can just add right here, but you have to go now in file and import. And now you can import IES lamp data. It is IS LAM data are available uh, on the website. So the company producing light actually uh, promote the light by providing this IS light and the architect can use them in the visualization. So we are going to select let's say a decorative light application and I don't know, take maybe this one. So after that, you click on photometry and design tool. And you click whenever you want on report. So what is, it's not important what kind of light you use, but it's very important to click on photometry design tool and report. And when that is done, you have access to this IS file right here. Then you can just click on it and download it. So now that I save, actually I save all the IES file in a specific folder because it's just easier for me. So now we go back to Blender. We just go back in Import IES LAM Data. I guess it was one of these, I don't know, just let's take this one. Oh yes, what is also important actually, then you have to set up the strength of the light here. So let's say 0 0.5. 5, thank you. And also what is, let's say, the color of the light. So from lower is it, yellowish is it, and uh, Higher is it, more white is it, so just let's say cool the light and just import IS to cycle. So now I have the light right here, so I will just put the light at the right place. Just put it up like that and maybe move a bit to the left and let's render and now you have a very fancy trendy light uh, as you can dream of course I mean actually yes it's true that this light is maybe a bit boring but I mean I mean uh, it just you decide what kind of line you want to to use but what you can now realize is then if you click and select the light and you cannot modify the color of the light and actually it's kind of very annoying so you can just there and you know just whatever you want it just doesn't work so what we do actually is really easy yes craft editor and what is very important drivers and now you can collapse all the three and you select you know this R default value G default value B and this one as well so you just select all of them and you delete them and now yes I have 
access to the color. I can change the color and we can see that immediately here when we render. Then we have a really wonderful bluish color. So, I mean, that's one way to work with IES light. But now what you can also do, and it's even better, is create your own IES light. And to do so, you go in this page. I will put the link in the description and just download this file. And actually, it, the, the, the software just works by its own. You don't install any kind of software. And I have the software right here. I already installed the software. And now, I mean, it's very intuitive because you just click. And what is very really cool, as you can see, and you have actually a preview of your light. So all your light is going to look. Uh, and why not that? Yeah. Okay, I, let's see. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, maybe not. So, I mean, you decide. You do whatever you want. Yeah, let's see. It's fine. And you just save. So, I will go in my directory. Oops. My lighting. And trial, and that's it. Boom. So now I can just uh, import from here, and I have my light here. So I will just move this one and. It's not working. Uh, yeah, it's that's something. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to select the light for whatever reason. It's actually kind of really annoying. Sometimes you have really to fight with the light to select it. But now it's done. Oops. And if I put a render, I've my light handmade right here. Actually, it's the way I made this one. So I think actually then using this software is maybe the best way to create your own IS slide. Uh, it maybe asks you to a bit of practice and you know try and error. But the big advantage, I mean, you get a very nice IS lamp with a very very fancy look. Uh, like this one. Actually, you have exactly the same problem than any kind of uh, IES file, and I guess it comes from the plugin. Uh, that means the color is locked, so you cannot do anything, but you do exactly the same thing that we have done. You just select these four parameters, you just delete them. Thank you. And now you have access to uh, the light, and you can easily change, you know, the color and put whatever you want. So I mean, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope for now that the the highest lamp is nothing as mysterious or very complicated to do. As you can see, it's very easy to do. It's just about downloading one plugin, installing in, installing it. And after that, download the IES file or create your own uh, IES file and just import the file in Blender. And here you have the result. So that's the IES slide that you just created right now. Not fantastic, but at least kind of a bit trendy. I mean, kind of can look, look cool. And uh, that's the one I created before. And that's the very boring spotlight. So I hope this convinced you to use IES lamp in your architecture visualization. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.